time on the program now for Perspectives. Today we're going to talk to Hadija As-Salami. She is Yemen's first female filmmaker and her work focuses on the stories of women and girls in her home country, drawing on her own experiences as a child bride married at 11 to tell the stories of patriarchy and social convention in Yemen. Her 2006 film, Najum, Age 10 and Divorce, became the first Yemeni film submitted for consideration at the Oscars. It's a dramatization of the true story of a 10-year-old girl who succeeded in divorcing her 30-something husband. While reflecting on her own teenage years and young marriage, Salami says, I knew that education would save me, that it would be my route to happiness, to a dignified life and to freedom. I could have left my life to destiny and become a victim, but I chose to be stronger than my pain and I succeeded. And Hadija Asalami joins me now in the studio. Thank you very much for coming in to talk to us this morning on France 24. Thank you for having me. Uh, T let's talk a bit about that first of all then, uh, the role that uh, education uh, did play in your route out of your, uh, your, your early marriage. Uh, because apparently how you did it really was quite extraordinary. I read that at the age of 12 you managed to get a job uh, at a television station uh, in Yemen and then through that you were able to fund your own education in Yemen and abroad. I is that right and how did you manage to get a job like that at such a young age? Well, when I found myself, I mean my family disowned me when I refused the marriage so I have to find a job and support myself and my own uh, mother and her kids. So I, the only thing I wanted to do was the TV. At that time, the TV just came in, and I was impressed by the small screen. And I said, that's where I, I want to work. So I, I decided to go there and apply for a job. They looked at me, and they were, like, you know, uh, perplexed. But then, at that time, they needed a uh, female to work on TV, and I started with children for programs. When and you were a child? When I was a child, that's, uh, yeah. Uh, and many of your films have focused on the challenges of growing up as a young girl in Yemen. You've talked, you've, well, you've worked on films about uh, abuse at home, about the hijab, uh, about child marriage, um, but they're not about your life specifically, are they? How much of your own experiences uh, have influenced the kinds of films that you make? Well, I guess if I didn't have uh, a painful childhood, maybe I would not use the camera to, to fight. Uh, and I thought when I was able you know, to get rid of all these injustice and have my life in my hand, uh, that would be over. But I guess when you start fighting since you're a kid, the fight it became uh, your best friend and he cannot, uh, doesn't leave you alone. And uh, that's why I continue because if I see any injustice somewhere, it hurts me and it touched me personally. That's why I go for this kind of subject. And uh, I'm glad I'm doing because it helps because it uh, brings awareness. And sometimes we help to, to solve problems, like the, the case of a woman prisoner who was in jail and she was uh, sentenced to death and she's supposed to be executed. With the film, I, I didn't mean it at the beginning to save her life, but with the film we managed to save her life and get her out of prison. But to show you the impact of images and uh, of films sometimes, it, it really uh, it helps uh, to save life yeah. of people, to educate them, to bring awareness, even if they're not... Uh, agreeing with what I'm uh, doing or what I'm showing, at least to force them to think. And that's the main thing. So mm. it's my tool to fight and show better life through the camera. Mm. And I wanted to ask you explicitly about that then. Obviously, you've lived uh, in France for a long time uh, and your films have had quite a lot of influence in the way that Yemen is seen abroad. But in general, in Yemen, how is your work seen? Do people tend to receive it positively or are they quite critical of the arguments that you make about how women and girls are treated it in Yemen? It depends on, uh, on the people. Mm. Some of them are receiving it really warmly and uh, they're happy to see it because I'm the first one who started to tackle sensitive issues. So at the beginning, everybody was worried in me. Uh, you would really have a violence reaction. You should have done that. But I just follow my instinct and, and my heart and I, I go ahead and do it. And it's true that I get some attacks. But at the same time, I, I have people who are uh, with uh, what I'm doing, and, uh, and it helps. Uh, one time I showed it, uh, some of the films in the villages that are really sensitive subject, and everybody was telling me, don't show it over there, you're going to be attacked. But I found that Yemeni are more reactive than, uh, especially those that they tell you, I mean, which is odd, those are not educated. They are more willing to receive such a thing and they want somebody to tell them what they're supposed to do and what not to do. The opposite of those, they think they're already educated. So my, my main thing is those people who are not educated and that's what I'm reaching out to. What about in terms of censorship? Have you ever had any problems trying to quite literally have your films aired and shown in Yemen? 
Um, this, I'm, I'm really a bad example because I make my film without authorization. If I do, I would be maybe censored. But since I don't take the authorization of the government, I just do what I want to do. Even the last film was hard to make, but uh, I, I go without uh, authorization, so I, nobody can censor my film. I do exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, I watched yesterday a little bit of your film, A Stranger in Her Own City, the film that you uh, produced in 2005. In that, uh, you said that when you were a child, you felt that the hijab or maybe the niqab was a, was a straight jacket. Do you still feel like that about the veil? Well, I always do with the niqab, but, uh, but sometimes when I do some films that I need to, to be hidden, and I did one film about corruption in Yemen, and I needed to wear the niqab so nobody would know who I am and have a hidden camera, so I was happy to wear it. That's the, the only time I appreciate the niqab. Uh, and, and just finally, tell us, what, what are you working on now? Do you have any films uh, in the pipeline? Well, the film I just finished about, unfortunately, um, the war in Yemen, but I have a lot of other projects that I'm working on and I still haven't finished, but, uh, yeah. Um, uh, Lots more still to come lot, from you, I hope. A lot of stories to tell. Hadija uh -huh. Salami, thank you very much. You've been hearing that from Hadija Salami, uh, Yemen's first female film director. Thank you for having me. Our pleasure.